For this free lesson, for you beginner and intermediate players, I want to have a look at a tune that has two names and I don't really know why one is one and why one is the other. Um, the way I think of it is, is the Irish session musicians would call this the Cork Hornpipe and the American old-time bluegrass players know it as Harvest Home. I was introduced to it as Harvest Home and it's only later in my playing that I discovered of this second name. Uh, this is a tune that I, I use uh, to progress beginner players up to intermediate. It's it's a difficult tune, but a table for kind of beginner players and a good thing to work on for intermediate players. The way the lesson is going to be split is for you beginner players, I want to show you how to play a hornpipe feel and then we'll just play the melody. And then for the intermediate players, once you know that you can play the hornpipe and play the melody, um, I'll show you where you can add some triplets. Quite often this has a big triplet run in it. Uh, and we'll also just discuss our right hand and make sure that is doing the, the correct thing. So a hornpipe feel. Um, when we're playing uh, what's called reels or just general fiddle tunes in four, um, we aim to have uh, the notes the same length. So if you had four uh, crotchets in a row or four eighth notes if you're in America, your downs and ups would be the same length. So down, up. So your downs equals your ups in length. With a hornpipe, what you want is you want your downs ever so slightly longer than your ups. So instead of down, up, down, up, you end up with down, up, down, up, down. It sounds like this. Hopefully you can hear the downs are ever so slightly longer than the ups. So with the cork hornpipe, the first bar, so if I was to play it just straight, sounds like this. Okay, so that's just kind of if you were playing a reel. Downs and ups, the same length. In a hornpipe feel, it sounds a bit more like this. Da, 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 kind of a, it's a tune you dance to. So uh, that's a hornpipe feel. I really suggest let's get that under your fingers and I would focus on that first bar. Once you get the hornpipe feel over the first bar, the rest should follow, but get it going. So down, up, down, up, down. So you're ever so slightly playing longer downs and shortening your ups. Once you think you've got hornpipe feel uh, understood, uh, let's put it into practice over Harvest Home. Now this is a hard tune. For you beginners out there, this is a hard tune to learn, but I use it so often to try and push beginners on into immediate sta intermediate standards. So really worthwhile you making the effort because there's a lot of little phrases that can trip you up, but once you've learned them, we'll make you a better player. Um, so the bar one, as we've already played, I highly suggest you just get that bar perfect before you move on because that's kind of the essence of the tune. And then the next difficult one after bar one is bar three, um, which is kind of a, uh, your melody is, and then there's other notes in there. So it sounds like this. I'll do that again. So they're your two difficult phrases in the whole tune really, once I, in my opinion, once you've kind of got those under your fingers, you can kind of then the rest are all based on that. And then the very end of the A part is also a little tricky because it's similar to that one we just did, but slightly different. It sounds like this. So that's bar seven of the A part or the third line if you're reading the free PDFs. Don't forget you can get some free PDFs of this, which are just linked below or from mandelmike.com. That's the seventh bar of the A part. It's just ever so slightly different to the third bar of the A part, so just watch out for that one. So I su just suggest that you just kind of focus on those three bars before you dive into the whole thing. So I have the metronome set at 75 BPM, which is about this speed. If that's a bit too fast to where you are now, don't forget YouTube has a, a slow down 
feature, just press the, the little cog wheel in the bottom of the corner here and you can change the speed of, of me playing this. But I'm going to play it at 75 BPM. Try and play along. We're going to two A's and two B's, as most fiddle tunes are, as best you can with that hornpipe feel. Okay? So don't forget, if you, if you want to read the tab, uh, the PDF is linked below. And one, two, three, four. Hopefully you can now play the Harvest Home or the Cork Hornpipe. Uh, I love that tune. I, I always use it when I'm teaching lessons or workshops. It's a great tune uh, to learn some hard phrases and improve your playing. So for the intermediate players who are watching this and might already know this, I want to discuss uh, two things to kind of make this a little harder for you. First off um, is pick direction. The rule um, which I've discussed many times and I'm sure many of you already know this, but if you don't, the rule with the right hand is down on the beat, up off the beat. So that means uh, this tune is pretty much all constant down, up, down, up, down, up, one, and two, and three, and four, and so on. On your one, two, three, four, it's a down, and on your ands, it's an up, one, and two, and three, and four, and... Now, a lot of people, when they don't know this theory, um, let's take the first bar, for example. That bar. They are tempted to play it like this. They would go down. They'd do it all down. Because, and I understand, because if you, once you've played that first note, it's, just, it's within the same hand motion to play the next note. So you can play it all down. Um, now that is fine at this speed, but if you don't learn the proper way, and this is the proper way, uh, no matter what anyone tells you, um, then you reach a, a level which you can't, you won't be able to get past because you'll have sort of strange double ups and double downs that have really got messy um, as you speed up. So it's really important that you really make sure, and this is a, tune, a good tune to really make sure that you're playing it properly. Um, that you're playing down on the beat, up off the beat. So that first bar is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then constant all the way through. And a good bar to see if you're doing it right is the third bar of the A part. Um, that's a really counterintuitive down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You kind of go back across where your brain wants to see the downs and ups. So um, on the PDF, I've, I've mapped out where your downs and ups on some of the harder bars. Go back, rewind this video, play along and focus on that right hand. It's so worth playing it slowly. You may already know the tune, but play it slowly so you can take the time and watch what your right hand's doing and make sure it's going down on the beat, up off the beat. The next thing we can do once you've mastered that is we can add uh, two big triplet runs. Um, the, the Irish version, certainly the version I know of the Dubliners that play this, is um, in the 
fourth bar after that uh, tricky this bar instead of da 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 they replace those notes with a big triplet run which sounds really nice but the problem is when people learn this they learn the triplet run too slow where originally you have um, eight notes fit into four beats you're now trying to fit 12 notes into four beats so your triplets have to be quite fast so um, if we're going the amount of times that people come to me with this tune and they go it's just too slow triplets you know you have to stick to time otherwise if you're playing this in a jam session you go wrong and the, the jam session will leave you behind so for example if i just have my metronome here hopefully you can hear this this is set to 75 bpm so if we were to play this as triplets one two three one two three one two three one two three and a really good way of practicing your triplets is to get the metronome on like that so it's one click per beat so that was 75 so say you're playing the tune at let's do 85 bpm and then you do the bar before it you can really make sure that you're playing those triplet runs at the, at the right speed the amount of times it's played too slowly and it messes up the whole tune so uh, in your own time just get the, the triplet runs clean um, and also the pick direction is kind of up to you. There's two ways you can do it. I because it's a group of six, uh, it's four four groups of triplets. Da, 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 There's four sets of three there. Um, I just carry on the down up down up down up down up. If you watch my right hand. It's just going down up down up down up. Because you come out of it on the first beat, the next bar on and down. So it works out nice. You could, if you wanted to. To kind of do how an Irish player would do it and go down up down down up down down up down down up there's nothing wrong with that I find that does actually slow me down when I'm if I'm doing if I kind of switch from going down up down up to to an Irish jig feel it I don't really like it so I play the triplets just a faster down up down up down up than I have been doing the rest of the melody but that's up to you so if you work that out in your own time, the most important thing is that you're playing the triplets at the right speed. Okay, to finish this lesson, uh, we're going to play the melody again, but this time with the triplets in. Um, I've got the metronome set at 85 BPM, which is about this speed. And your triplets. So not, not too quick. Um, so as before, two A's and two B's through the harvest home and the cork hornpipe with the triplet run. One, two, three, four. That's it for this lesson. Um, don't forget any of the anything we've discussed is actually on the PDF, uh, which is linked below, and that's free for you to have. 
Uh, please do head over to mandomind.com and sign up for these free monthly lessons so they arrive straight in your inbox. And we'll see you next month.